This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast, where CEOs, C-suite executives, and senior leaders share their advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because the best leaders know how to share their ideas concisely and quickly. Let's jump right in. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Hi, everybody. My name is Greta McEnany, and I am the co-founder of Blue Fever. Uh, Blue Fever um, has built an empathetic AI that text messages with teenage girls to curate the internet for them based on their moods and emotions. That's pretty cool. I haven't heard of that before. How long yeah. have you guys been doing that? So we've been around since um, late 2017, mm -hmm. um, and obviously the products have evolved a lot. Um, our first product has been entirely on SMS, but we are in the midst of building out an app where millions of young women are going to be able to connect better with themselves um, and each other. Essentially like building an identity instead of building a brand, which a lot of them do right now. Oh, that sounds so amazing. I can't wait to learn more about that. Yeah. Question number two for you. What's the best thing about leading people from your perspective? So um, when I saw this question, I thought maybe this is the extrovert in me, but I always find that it's um, more fun and quite honestly, um, more meaningful to accomplish something together than it is alone. Um, again, I don't know if it's just because I'm a people person and I enjoy that, but I think that when everybody's uh, focused at one goal and you do it, uh, you can celebrating together that win is so much more meaningful. It really is. It's so much more fun to have somebody else there with you than to do it by yourself. Yep. It sounds I, cheesy, but that's how I feel. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can almost see yourself getting to the top of the mountain. You're like cheering and then it's like, there's no one there to cheer with, you know, and you're like, yeah. Oh. Have you seen the documentary? Oh, I forget what it was where two guys were climbing, um, rock climbing in, I don't know, this famous mountain. And one of them got past this really important part of the mountain. The other one couldn't. So then the other one waited for him because he's like, I don't want to get to the top and be there alone because that's no fun. And I think that's exactly how I feel. Oh, that's so You don't remember what that movie is, but it's a documentary. It's really great. <laughs> I'll definitely have to go find that. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I'll find what it is after. Question number three for you. I often hear from other leaders that business would be great if it weren't for that pesky people part. I'm curious, what are your thoughts about that? That's interesting. Um, if you had asked me like two to three weeks ago, uh, I think I might've had a different answer. Right now I am in quarantine for COVID like many of us, um, it's like end of March. And I think that um, <laughs> uh, now that I'm not surrounded by people, um, I think that I have a little bit different of an answer. I think originally like people are some of the most challenging and rewarding parts of the business. Um, but now not being around people every day. Um, I think that yes, you avoid certain kinds of conflict that can come up um, uh, when you're in person, but, um, and that people are, people are emotional, right? And people operate from their emotions as much as we all say we don't, like everybody operates based on how they feel or how they want to feel. And I think that that makes business really challenging because um, you're just constantly trying to evaluate uh, the emotional barometer of everyone around you. So in COVID, that's been harder because we're remote. Um, and that's made it more business, more difficult. Um, but I also think in a way too, it's made it easier because I'm not constantly around people 24 seven trying to manage and figure out their emotions. But I think it's just understanding where people are emotionally at um, is super cool in business and it definitely takes time to perfect. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. I mean, that's, I think that's the pesky part, right? Or the pesky emotions. And we probably even hear people talk about that for themselves. You know, like it would be great if I didn't feel so intense about things in some ways or, you know, have such extreme reactions to things. So I think you hit the nail on the head that it's that, you know, the, the feelings that we all feel that we then act upon as a result. Right. And it's very hard to separate yourself from those feelings. And I find that good leaders can do that and really good team members can do that. So if you can find people, no matter where they are in your company or org structure, it's really key um, if you can have people on your team who are aware because then that makes everything easier. Oh, I love that. And self-aware. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, speaking of that, you know, people who are self-aware, I'm curious, what other successful business leaders like yourself should be on the podcast you know who else should we be listening to what voices out there are really powerful for you 
Yeah, so um, there is a founder who I've shared, two founders who I've shared an office space with um, before. One's name, um, he's a veteran, um, uh, veteran uh, head of product who now has his own company and he's brought like three companies public. His name is Dave Cole um, and he runs a company called a security uh, privacy company called Open Raven. And then um, another one is Nick Daze who uh, runs a company called Pocket List. Um, that connects renters with um, their dream apartments. And both of those guys um, inspire me on a daily basis. That's amazing. See, and that's yeah. the stuff that I love is I think, you know, people want to hear from other people that they see like them that they can resonate with. I think, you know, again, we all know about the Tony Robbins and the, you know, and the, the big names in the, in the spaces, but who are the people among us, right, that we should be really paying attention to and, and providing more accolades to. So thank you for that. I'll, I'll definitely yeah, go check them both out. What piece of advice about communication would you give to other leaders? Really simple. Remember that how you think is not how everyone else thinks. How your brain works <laughs> is not how everybody else's brain works. Um, and to keep that in mind um, before you react to someone else's reaction or opinion. Yeah, absolutely. I love to tell people common sense isn't common. Right. I mean, so again, and we all have our different mm -hmm. uh, experiences that we come from that actually create our our version of common sense. Um, so I, I love the way that you you say that and, and to think about, mm -hmm. you know, again, we're all different and we all come at things from a different perspective. Are you familiar with neuro linguistic programming at all NLP? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so rule number one of NLP is respect for other people's view of the world, right? And so I feel mm -hmm. like you are, that's exactly what you're talking about right now is you're embodying that, you know, rule number one of, you know, let's, let's show up in respect and, you know, let's seek to understand other people's perspectives as opposed to try to push our own. Yeah, it's also circling back to the comment I made about self-awareness. I think that that's been a really big personal lesson <laughs> I've been going through right now recently uh, with my team. I actually have it right here. We did these things called thinking talents where we discovered all of our thinking talents. Wow. Um, and it was this really cool exercise. And there's basically four core um, like cognitive behavioral patterns mm -hmm. and finding where I fit and where everybody else um, on my team fit was fascinating to just go like, I think relationally and that's like super easy for me. Um, and I think analytically, but not everybody else, you know, ap it approaches problems from that same um, angle. And so you can kind of go, oh, how does somebody approach problems it might be different than me. It doesn't mean it's wrong. That's amazing. Yeah, I love that. Um, DISC is another great tool for things yeah. like that. DISC I'm, is. I'm curious, how many people do you have on your team? So right now we are um, nine full time with uh, a bunch of part time people. See, and this is where it all begins, right? You need to start when it's a tight knit group, and then as you expand and grow, because um, you're gonna you're gonna reach hundreds of employees at some point with your mission and with the direction that you're going. And I think it all That's starts the goal. from. That's I'm knocking on wood right now. <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo. You know, and that, that's, that stems from what you're doing today. So I totally applaud you for putting in that effort now. Um, Thank I think you. It, it sets the tone for your future. Yeah. It's the difference between like urgent and important, which is usually where my mind is and most founders' minds are, right? And CEOs. And then, yeah. and then the difference between important but not urgent. And I kind of put it in that bucket. It's like long-term important, but not, doesn't need to happen, you know, today. But if we don't do it in like the next six months, then, then stuff could go wrong. Yeah. Love it. All right, magic question number six for you. Tell us about your favorite boss or teacher. Who has influenced you? It's a great question. Um, I actually had two answers for this, but um, one of them, I mean, it's a cop-out answer, is my dad, <laughs> who no actually is a teacher. Um, and then the other one is like almost like my second dad, who's my um, entrepreneurship mentor, who I grew up, grew up with. His name is um, Harry. Um, and he, uh, he's incredible. He's one of those people who, who always saw around corners for me and saw like kind of five steps in the future, even before I could. Um, and I think that that is always really beneficial, especially as a first time founder, finding your way, you really want to know that you have somebody in your corner and they've called him up at, you know, nine in the morning. I've called him up at like 1130 at night and without fail, he's just there. Um, and I think that 
failing is one of the most important things you can do as a founder because you fail and then you learn and then um, you can move closer towards success. And I think Harry always provided me, and then I think my dad too, has always provided me that space to fail um, and knowing that they would just be a phone call away um, in order to help me, you know, rebound and figure out what the next move was. Greta, I could talk to you for hours and hours and hours and hear all the fun insights that you have. It seems like you're, you know, you've really gotten in touch with yourself and you're really living from your heart space right now. Everything just kind of pours from you. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. To oh see my gosh, that's like the nicest compliment ever. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, thank it's, you. It's, it's, no, thank you. And thank you for your generosity of your ideas and your thoughts and your time to share it with everybody. Right. Just again, I think this is the difference that we get to make in the world is by passing it forward, right? Passing it along. Um, so thank oh you gosh, for that. Yeah. How can people find you if they want to reach out and learn more? Yeah, great question. So if you want to learn more about Blue Fever, you can go to bluefever.com, just how it's spelled. Um, and if you want to reach out to me personally, feel free to reach out on LinkedIn. Um, I'm usually there a couple of times a week looking at stuff. Um, and, um, and, I'll, and I'll get back to you there. And then um, there's also an info email on our Blue Fever website, and that can be directed to me too. That's awesome. Well, again, thank you so, so much for being on the show. This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast. For more insights and ideas, please do go check us out at www.conciliateam.com. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.